Hey guys, Vern Danke, guess what? Today you're in for a real treat. We are in a car museum in Belgrade, Serbia. Check it out. Hey, 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 Vern. Hey! Oh my gosh, you guys, my heart be still. This is crazy. I never thought that I'd be able to see some cars. It's been so long, living in the Philippines, being in Turkey, trying to travel around to the different countries looking for cars. I managed to find an old car museum. And very cool that it was open the day that I came. So let's check it out. All right, you guys, we're gonna see stuff that I don't even know what it is. And I've been into cars since I was a kid. So look at some of this old memorabilia. This is really cool stuff. I'm gonna take my time through here. I want you guys to really appreciate this. So there's an old transmission. Now the owner that owned this museum had passed on. So his wife is maintaining the place. It's too bad because he probably knew what all this stuff was. So he's got some gas pumps here. He put together a little bit of a display. This must have been him. Yeah, that's too bad. I would have liked to have met him. These old gas pumps, you guys. So basically you pump the fuel up to the top. Usually it has a number up there to figure out how much gas you want. And then you pour it out the pump. Look at this old memorabilia. Just stuff is amazing to have old photos from the past car related. Pretty cool, we can learn so much from the past. It's got a little display case with a little car carriage called the Benz. That's an early Benz. Very early. Almost looks like a steam engine. 1886 Germany. The BENC patent wagon. Very unusual. Look at that, you guys. So this is where I'm at. Yesterday's vehicles on tomorrow's roads. It looks like a little Volkswagen van, but I don't think it's a Volkswagen. It's something else. Very cool though. It's got some old tires laying around. A little engine here. Look at this. This is like a display engine it looks to be. I'm not sure what that was. See how they have the cutaway? This was some kind of a, an autorama display type thing that was usually made for like a car show. Not sure if that's like a, a Morris Mini or what that is. It's got a slanted engine. Very unusual. See how the transmission's cut away? This was some kind of a automotive design thing that they would show at a car show because they wanted you to see how the mechanicals worked. Very unusual. Let's see if I can zoom back so you can see it. Let's see what he's got in here in his shop. There you guys go. All right, so he has some vintage race cars. Now, I don't know enough about the race cars. So you guys will have to kind of figure it out on your own. Be a formula car, DMB 850S. All right, you guys, look at that. Couple more race cars here. Very interesting. The air pocket here, that must feed the engine fresh air. This looks to be something out of the 70s or maybe even the 80s. This car. They have aluminum rear suspension. Some kind of a racing Honda. 1966 Belgium VW Formula. Very interesting. Max speed, 160 kilometers. Very cool. Love the old vintage cars. Especially when they have some provenance. one was one Zeton for 90 minutes. This is a car I've only seen in the magazines. It's a little Fiat and it has like a wicker type seating. Really crazy, look at that. I've never seen that before. I've only seen that in magazines. Now this is also a ragtop. Very unusual little car. Very rare little car. I've never seen one on the road and I've never seen one up close. My first time. 
So it's a 1961 Model 500 Jolly, Ghia Jolly, made in Italy. Now this next car I know pretty well. This is a 57 Cadillac Baritz. Now you can tell it's the top of the line Baritz because it has this gold V in the front. Usually the really high end Cadillacs will have a, a gold emblem somewhere. This was a very expensive car back in the day. These Cadillacs were very expensive. And this is a convertible, so that's even more rare. Very, very, very amazing. This is a car I did not expect to see here in Serbia. But here it is. Here it is, you guys. Look at that. Ragtop, my friends. I'm a big ragtop fan. I've had many ragtops. I love ragtops. Ragtops are my favorite. If I were to pick a car, it would be a ragtop, hands down. I've had quite a few. Interesting little scooter here. It says it's a 58. Look at that. It almost looks like it's a snowmobile engine type. Very unusual. And then there is, looks to be a limousine. Some type of a Mercedes-Benz limousine. If you guys are into the Mercedes. And here is another very large limousine. Mercedes-Benz. This is like a presidential type limousine. This is really a high dollar car here. Very rare car also. This is a really high dollar Mercedes. 1955 convertible. Now the early Mercedes-Benz, especially the convertibles, are really sought out. Really sought after cars. Very beautiful cars. This happens to be a, a coach-built convertible. I think it's a coach-built. A lot of these cars are built by hand, especially the early ones. Very amazing car. Here's another Mercedes for you guys. I know these are real popular in the Philippines, the Mercedes. Now, I thought this was an Oldsmobile when I first saw this car. It reminded me of like a 57, 58 Olds 88, but it's not. It is an Opel, 1958 Opel from Germany. Very crazy. It just has that, that Oldsmobile look to it. So did the Americans copy that? Or did Opel copy the American version? We have another Fiat. 1958 Italian Fiat NSU. That's just an interesting little car. Look at how they've got a fog light right in the middle there. Very unusual. It is a four-door sedan. Very unusual. And then for the BMW guys, a 1966 Model 1600. Now I have worked on a few of these cars back in the US for clients. And it's a very popular car, very common car very popular. I'm not sure what this is. This is kind of strange. A Reliant. A Reliant Super Van 3. I've never seen this thing before. Look at the back of this, you guys. Look at that. It almost looks like kind of a hybrid Mini Cooper, but it's not. It's, it's about the same height of one, but it's a panel van. How cool is that? Look at this, you guys. It's a panel van. That is really cool. It almost has kind of like a early 60s vibe to it almost you know what it looks like it looks like an amphicar in the front I swear it'd be an amphicar if I if I didn't know what it was it's like an amphicar panel van that's what that looks like that is very cool that is really cool an amphicar panel van what is this weird crazy interior they got like tiger interior what is that I don't know it looks like somebody's custom went crazy we got some big dollar cars here. Look at these. Look at these old cars. This is a Nash. I'm not sure what your Nash that is. I want to say it's probably a 20s. I would have guessed 1920 to 1935. That's just my guess. Let's see, let's see if it says in the license plate here. Does it say? Oh, 1934. There you go. It's got some badges on there. Let's see if we can read the badges from here. It's got a fence that I can't really get through here to get up close to that but that's a beautiful car that's a rare car this is a very high dollar Nash when you see the very large bodied cars 
they're usually a very high dollar car. Like this car next to it, you can see how small it is. It's like a dwarf compared to this Nash. And it kind of gives you an idea that it had a high status, a high value. This is an Elvis. I don't know much about Elvis. I really don't know anything about Elvis. Let's see what the badges say on it. Probably European badges. Look at these headlights. Those are unique. I mean, where do you find that if that breaks, right? Very unusual car. It's got a different kind of a hood ornament too. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Is that a cat? Very interesting, I've never seen that before. Even the color choice on that was very unusual. Very different. Kind of has like a cabriolet type roof. So does that roof fold back or is it just, just a, a show type thing? Kind of wonder if that roof comes off or folds back. Such a huge fan of seeing American tin on foreign soil. Look at that, look at that old Buick, you guys. That's great, it's just really nicely restored too. Very nice, probably old lacquer. Probably can still get lacquer here in Europe, I wonder. I, I'm almost willing to guess it probably is available. So you could probably still restore these cars with lacquer. Look at that beautiful purple color that they put on there. It's a two door. Call it probably a two-door coupe or cat. No, yeah, it wouldn't be a cat. Well, maybe they call it a cat, really. I'm not really sure on this one. Very nice, though. Very nice. Big old headlights. Look at how big that headlight is. I mean, it's in, in relationship to my hand. It's huge. Then it has a spare tire carrier on there. Look at that chrome uh, holder that would hold the spare tire kit. Very, very nice. So I wonder if this is a rumble seat in the back. I can't see the back and it's in a chained off area, but it very, well, it could be. It, it could e either have a trunk or it's gonna have a, a rumble seat and I'm not sure. Let's see what this is here. This is something I'm not familiar with. Is it a roamer or a rower? I don't know, what is that? Let's see if I can zoom in. Rover? I don't know, 14? Very interesting. I, have, I don't have one clue what this car is. Like I say, I've seen stuff here that I've, I've never even seen my whole life, and I thought a new car is pretty good, but I just don't know foreign cars. I don't know foreign cars enough. Look at that, so it's a four-door, four-door sedan. Looking at the wheels, I wanna say it's probably late 20s, early 30s. What else do we have here? It's got some signage here, but I'm not sure what car this sign is for. Look at this old Ford, 1930 Ford. Very cool. Hood needs a little bit of work, but other than that, it looks really nice. I'm a perfectionist, so if I see something that's not really straight, then I kinda, <laughs> I'm OCD on it. All right, look at that, you guys. Very nice. 1944 Mercedes. Now, anything that is built around the war is a really high dollar car. If it's Cadillac, if it's Mercedes, Volkswagen, anything around the war time. This is 1944. Wow, there were probably were very few of these cars put out, being that the war effort was going on in Germany. That's really amazing that there even was a car built. 1944. Look at this Morris, you guys, this Morris pickup truck, 1928. I would have never guessed that they made a pickup back in 1928. I would have thought that this would have been like in the 40s, but 1928, look at that. That's crazy. So cool to see this stuff. Very nice. Very nice old tin here. Look at that. I say this is like a Citron. I don't see a sign for this, or do I? No, I don't see a sign for this one. But that's very cool. That's probably like a 30s, 1930s. Very unusual, look at that. It's probably about 1930s. There's another car that I, I have no idea, but look at how large this one is. So this was another really high dollar car. Let's zoom in, let's see what it says it is. Is that SKA, Skada? Jada? I don't know what that is. I really don't know what that is. I don't even, I'll have to look that up. And I'll put a note in the description if I figure out what that is. Okay, so let's look at the hood ornament. 
Some kind of a bird. Very unusual. I've never seen this model before in my life. I want you guys to see this. This is an old, like a cabriolet, I think they call that when it's a convertible four-door. Look at that. That's a, that's a really amazing old car. I've never seen anything like it. I'll try to show you guys some of the details. Some of these cars you'll never see again. It's got a couple things in the back here. I wonder what all this is. Something being worked on. That'd make a great hot rod, whatever that is. All right, so he's got a 1960s Jaguar. He's got a 340 Jaguar. Looks to be real nice. He's got a Peugeot in the back here. 1938. 1938 Peugeot. Look at that, you guys. Peugeot. You guys, you guys would squirm for this. It's a BSA. Look at that. This bike is an old BSA. Look at this thing, you guys. This is crazy. It's kind of right behind the sign, unfortunately. Look at that. Right, here's another Ford. Made in England. Perfect it. Or perfect it? Perfect it? I don't know. <laughs> How is it spelled? Perfect. Prefect. Prefect. I've never seen one of these before. It's Ford's foreign version. It has a ragtop center and the roof there's a little porsche 924 it's actually a 924 methanol 924 interesting all right we got an old fiat here and then this is a really unusual car look at this i've only seen these in magazines i've never seen one of these up close look at the grill on that thing these had to be very 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 rare i want to figure out what this is never known what that is what is it it's a Stayer, seer, I got no ideas, you guys. What on earth is that? Look at that. I got no idea what that car is. It's beautiful. I've seen that in magazines, but I just don't know what it is. All right, let's see what this is. It's kind of funny, because usually I can go to these cars and I can pick out what it is, but no, nah, not here, you guys. Not in the land of foreign cars. You guys, this is a treasure. This right here, this 1938 BMW uh, convertible. This is a big deal car. This is a really big deal car. This is a very rare car. Any of the really early BMWs are worth quite a bit of money. And this is a Cabriolet convertible. I don't know if they consider it a Roadster. Maybe they consider this a Roadster. But in any event, it is a ragtop. This is a very rare car. If you like BMWs, this is like top of a list to own. That's a great car. I would love to have that. If I were to have any car in this museum, this would be probably number two. Number one would be the cord that's here. All right, look at that. It is a 1939 Italian Lancia. Very interesting. Very nice little car. Very good shape too. It's a two-door. Used to have a steel wheel. This is a Citron. It's hard to believe it's a 1951. It looks like a 1930s. I mean, they were really far back in time with their design if that's a 1951. I mean, look at that. that. How can that compete with the 50s cars? That looks so dated. That looks so dated compared to a 1950s Chevrolet or Oldsmobile. This looks like it came out of the 30s, the Citron. This looks to be another Citron. What is it? No, it's a Fiat. All right, so we've got a Fiat here, 1947. Very unusual little car. Look at that, you guys. Look at the vents on that, that hood. That's very unusual. Very unusual. Steel wheels. It's a cool little motorcycle too. It's called a Tamas. Tamas or Tamas? Look at that. Tamas or Tamas. Very cool. A little bit older style parking meter. Let's see what it takes. One or two N? One N? I'm not sure. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't know how to use this parking meter if it was put in front of me with what coins. I'm not even sure if it's from this country or another country. All right, so they've got a Porsche in here. Looks to be 911 Carrera. Yeah, that's a high dollar car. 1986, sure. 
Yeah, that would be a sweet little ride. You know it. Yeah, I would make that thing perfect. I'd polish that and have that baby shine. Now, if any car won my heart, it's this Auburn, this 1935 Auburn supercharged speedster. Now, Auburn only made cars for so many years. Well, look at that beauty. That is just a beautiful car. Everything about it is just amazing. It's just got presence. Look at that. Big, wide, flared out fenders. Headlights that stick out. It's got the pipes coming right through the side for the exhaust. It's got the windshield that's kind of slanted back, kind of like a aeroplane. It's got the fog lights sitting out and the rear extended wheels. I mean, this thing, this thing would handle back in the day. It was like a race car of its time. A production race car. That's what that is from this era. What an incredible piece of history right there. This is a really incredible piece of history. To have that in any country, that would be amazing. Look at that. Supercharged. That's one. got to be one of the first supercharged cars built. It's got these little latches to hold the hood shut. What a beauty. It's got little kick panels, so when you get in the car, you don't rub the paint off. What a neat car. This is, this is my favorite right here. I'm not sure if these are original wheels, though. I don't know enough about the wheels on these cars. But this is called a boat tail speedster because the back end is shaped like a boat. Look at that. I'm sure what the 300 is, 1935. What a gorgeous ride. Look where the fuel tank filler is right in the back of this thing. Man. I would love to build a kit car like this. That would be incredible. Look at that thing. It's got a tonneau cover to keep the rain off of it. This has just got presence. This is a work of art. This is a total work of art. I love this car. Since I was a kid, I love these cars. If there were one car in here that I had a choice to get, it would be this car. They have a Ferrari next to it, but I would pass in the Ferrari. This, this, is, a, this is a real treasure there. This is a beautiful car. This is a work of art. This is rolling art. This Auburn. What a beauty. What a beauty. All right, so he's got a few more things on display here. A little bit of memorabilia. So I was planning on going to the Tesla Museum today, but it was closed because it's Monday. And I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta go. All right, you guys, here's a Ferrari. I know a lot of you guys like the Ferraris. I like the old classic tin, but I would take a Ferrari. It would be a, an amazing ride too. Now, this is a 1978 308 GTS. Now I'm not sure if this is the Magnum PI car that he had. It may very well be. So let me know in the comments if it is or not. What a sweet little ride though. This thing would just scream. It would just scream. These are such great little performance cars. It's very low, it sits, oh, at a, at a height that's probably no more than four foot tall, maybe four foot five. What a neat little car though. Aluminum magnesium, probably magnesium wheels. If you like Ferraris, there you go. It's cool to see these. It's always cool to see these. Never get tired of seeing them. But if I had a choice, I'd pick the old car just because it's got more, more character. Now this is a really old car here. Look at this, you guys. I think this is a Ford. Look at the tires on this. They're mounted on a wooden rim. Very amazing. You've got a little bit of a rag top here. Wow, look at that. That's about as primitive as you can get. Look at that old car, you guys. That's just crazy. That is really old. I wish I knew the year of that one. Old horseless carriage. In California, it says. Is that true? I don't know. But that is something really old, you guys. Look at that. Here's what it says. It says it's a pilot from 1903. Now, I did not know Ford made a 1903 car. Is that true? I don't know. It says pilot. So is it a pilot car or a pilot program? So look at these. Now, are they kerosene? Are they, yeah, they look to be a kerosene. I don't think they're electric. Very wild. Look at the hand lever in the, in the center of this thing. Look at that hand lever. That's how you steer it. Wild. 
They've got the padded seat, kind of like the old carriages would have, the same kind of seating. Look at these motorbikes, you guys. Very wild. Well, one motorbike and one bicycle. This thing kind of blew my mind. A Chiron? Chiron? Never heard of it, 1908. Look at this car, you guys. Look at what this thing took to make. With all the brass, all the shape to it. Look at the brass on the dash. And then look at this. This must be the horn. It's a snake. Look at that. That is so crazy. If you lost that, you could never replace that. I don't think it's the exhaust, but it could be. It could be the exhaust. But why would it be in the front? I'm gonna have to research this. I've never seen anything like this. I've seen a lot of stuff, but I've never seen anything like this. It's got the old wooden wheels with the grease caps. Now that would be hard to replace if you lost something like that. Very cool, it's got a little place for the luggage on the side. This was like a high dollar car in the day. This was like their, oh, I wanna say, a chauffeur driven car because the back is separated from the front this was a chauffeur driven ride look at these gas lamps here in the front too this was a very very expensive car for somebody that had a lot of money in the day not no citron went back as far as 1925 really incredible it's a hand crank car it used to be a brass radiator wow very wild just very unusual. It's neat to see other countries making cars. It's really neat to see. Look at the wheels, they're steel, solid steel wheels. Incredible. The first for me, this is called a Skoda from Czechoslovakia, 1929. I didn't know they made a car. Czechoslovakia, look at that. That is great. That car in the corner has a similar look and hood ornament. It might be the same kind of a make. The car in the corner might be one of these also. I'm not positive, I'll have to research that one too. This is a really early car, 1926 Lancia. Look at that, that's awesome. Look at that. I've never seen that before, that big long body. Look how long that is, it's a coach built convertible. That's another really high dollar car. You can tell the high dollar cars because they're very, very large. It's got the knockoffs here. Look at that. Very nice, what a beauty. Got some friends that are into the Fords. This, my friends, is what you call the Model T. This was the highest production built car in America in the day. Ford pioneered production built cars. And Ford said, in the early Model T's, he said, you can have any color as long as it is black. And they were painting these, I believe, with garden hoses back in the day. This is a real beauty. Interesting. What a beauty, though. Look at that. Nice ride. Real nice ride. Now, this is really interesting. A 1929 Arrow. Very unusual. Never seen one of these either. A lot of stuff I've just never seen before. Just really cool to see it's see these really cool to see these cars here and see them restored. It says repo, so this must be a reproduction. Oh the the other one must be a repo too. So they're saying that these are reproduction. 1939 arrow. They did a great job though. If that's a reproduction, I would never know. I'd never know. Look at that convertible. So look at how it's got a back seat, but it only has a, a front door, no, no rear door. Very unusual, steel wheels, stamped steel wheels. Hmm. All right, we're just gonna make a little pass through here on the way to, I got a little restaurant here, I smell some sausages. We're gonna have some sausages. Let's say hi to the owner. So they got a little museum cafe here. You guys are hungry. Come into the museum cafe, huh, buddy? Look at this cool place, you guys. Look at that 
old memorabilia. Never seen anything like that before. Look at that, you guys. If you love toy cars, that's great. He's got a little bit more stuff here. Got some stuff up here that's pretty cool. Some old trophies. That guys. I'm in Serbia and we're gonna have some sausages. I was smelling sausages and I thought, oh my gosh. Here we go. Ooh. Hey, 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 Vern. 